This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and Piquet says, what is the largest whole number that can evenly be divided into 1836 and 63? All right, let's start with answer choice A. Is 18 divisible by 2? It is, it's 9. And you don't have to do the division for all of these. In order to determine if a number is divisible by 2, just look at the last digit in that number. If that last digit is even, then the number is divisible by 2. If the last digit is not even, then it's not divisible by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Is 63 divisible by 2? Well, its last digit is 3, which is odd. So 63 is not divisible by 2. So A is not correct. Let's move on to 3. Uh, is 18 divisible by 3? It's 6. Is 36 divisible by 3? It's going to be 12. Is 63 divisible by 3? Well, in order to determine if a number is divisible by 3 without actually doing long division, all you do is sum the digits in that number. So 6 plus 3 is 9. If the sum of those digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 63 is divisible by 3, and I'm not going to work that out. So, so far, B is the correct answer. What about 9? 18 divided by 9 is 2. Uh, 36 divided by 9 is going to be 4. 63 divided by 9 is going to be uh, 7. So again, uh, so far the correct answer is going to be C9. 1836 and 63 are all divisible by 9. What about 18? 18 divided by 18 is going to be 1. 36 divided by 18 is going to be 2. What about 63? Is 63 divisible by 18? How many times does 18 go into 63 without going over? Well, 20 times uh, 3 would be 60. So I'm going to say it's going to be 3 times. What is 18 times 3? 8 times 3 is going to be 24. Carry it 2. Uh, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So 18 times 3 is going to be 54. Let's subtract this out. And right here, we know we're going to have to add a decimal to get our answer. So clearly, 18 does not go into 63. The correct answer to this one is C9.